Ian Clyde and made a bold statement when he said that we have access to heaven now. Many believers gave their life to Jesus and they are trying to serve the Lord as good as they can right here on earth, but they never go to heaven. But before the fall, Adam and Eve had full access to heaven, they had full access to God. The scripture says that uh, Adam actually walked every day with God. And so when Jesus died for us, he died so that we can not only have forgiveness of sin, but so that we can have full access to everything that Adam had before the fall. And so you might ask yourself and say, well, I wish I could walk like Abraham and Noah and Enoch and Adam with God every day. And, and I wish I could have access to heaven. And the great news is you can have access to heaven today. And so in this session, I'm going to discuss a video uh, where Ian Clayton explains our access to heaven. And we're also going to ask the question, why do we have access and how real is heaven really? Before we get into it, I want to quickly say something about Ian Clayton. So more than 30 years ago, Ian Clayton had a dramatic uh, conversion in his life and he experienced the supernatural reality of God. The Lord taught him how to go into heaven and for 30 years, almost every night, Ian Clayton went into heaven and he had an encounter with the Lord. And so I heard about Ian Clayton in 2007. He was teaching at a conference in Canada and friends of mine were at that conference and they invited Ian to come to South Africa. So I attended the first two or three conferences that Ian had here in South Africa. On one of those conferences, he also went to Namibia and they put together a ministry team that could go with Ian to do ministry work in in uh, Namibia and I was part of that ministry team. So I got to stay uh, with Ian and the team in a hotel and we were together as a team. We flew together, we traveled and ate together every day and it was such a great experience for me not to only uh, learn all this amazing teaching teachings that Ian Clayton was giving at that time but also to be with them you know behind the scenes and hear what they have to say and talk and and they get to know me a little bit and I get to know them and that was just a, a great experience for me and so I really believe that Ian Clayton has a word of the Lord for today and uh, if you want to learn more about Ian and you want to get some of his teachings you can go to his um uh, YouTube uh, page, it's called uh, Son of Thunder, and you can actually become a Patreon, and when you are a Patreon of Ian, then you can get access to, I think it's over 150 teachings that they have, and they got live sessions from time uh, to time, and so you can be part of all of that. Uh, I also attended the Foundation Nest School for a while, it was a little bit expensive for me, I didn't have that much money at the time, uh, but that really blessed me and helped me to grow spiritually also, and uh, access the deeper things of the Lord. So that's a little bit about Ian Clayton and why I love him so much. Uh, and even till this day, I, I listen to his teachings and it really helps me and it builds me. And also when I have a, a spiritual encounter or I go into the heavens and I see and I hear things, sometimes I can go back and I can reference uh, to the teachings uh, that Ian is giving because that's kind of foundational, uh, I believe, for people that want to experience the reality of heaven. All right, so now let's get into the question. Um, do we have access to heaven? Why do we have access to heaven? And then finally, uh, a little bit about the reality of heaven. Now, I just want to, before uh, uh, I, I give Ian's explanation, I want to read you two scriptures that I think is very important scriptures. You can study them. Uh, they are foundational for us going into heaven. The first one is John chapter 14, verse 6, where Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And that's John chapter 14, verse 6. And then we got Matthew chapter 27, verse 15 and 51. Uh, um, and Jesus cried out again with a loud voice and yielded up his spirit. And then behold, the veil of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. Okay, and that's, that's at that moment when Jesus died for us. Uh, and then the veil in the temple was torn. And, you know, the veil was that separation between us 
and the holies of holies where the prince of God is. And suddenly Jesus paid the price that all men could get safe and have access to the realm where God is. And that means we have access to heaven. And that's why Jesus actually said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. And you know, uh, in scripture we learn that Jesus is a door. And the function of a door is to have access. Our access into Yahweh's world is unhindered, unlimited, unconfined, and unrestricted. Yeshua tore the veil when he passed through death. We as believers are called to be priests of God, and therefore we have direct access to Yahweh himself. We are called to relationship with him and also to be completely functional as sons of of God on the earth, but also in Yahweh's world. That means in heaven. Our hope is not only to be with Yahweh in heaven worshipping him, but to be in his service, uh, doing what he requires us in all of creation. Yeshua became our priest. I do not have to make myself clean to be in heaven. It is the job of the priest to clean the sacrifice. My job is to present myself in his presence before his throne and he will make me clean so that I can have unrestricted access into heaven. He is the door and the function of a door is to go through it. Okay, so uh, this is very important uh, that we have to realize that Jesus is the one that cleanses us before we can go into heaven. Now, uh, you might have a question, but is heaven as real as this earth? Uh, and a lot of people think, well, everything on the earth is very real. You can touch it. Uh, but what's in heaven is kind of vague and in a spirit. The framework of heaven is as important and as significant as the natural world that we live in here. Heaven is full of substance. Everything in this natural world comes out of heaven. Jesus said, in my father's house are many mansions. And that's in John chapter 14 verse 2. The world of heaven is framed out of creative light. The natural world is framed out of created light. Heaven is permanent and this world is very fluid and always changing. And so therefore you can know that what's in heaven is going to last forever. Because that is where God is and that's the reality of heaven. But what's here on the earth is actually not permanent. And that's why Jesus said he actually wants this world to last. And so that's why we need to bring heaven to earth. All right, so uh, I think that's a, a, a wonderful uh, foundation to have in your heart to know that Jesus tore the veil for you, uh, that he is your priest, and, then, and that heaven is very, very real. You know, uh, when Jesus uh, spoke to his disciples, he said to them, I'm going to prepare mansions for you. And so there is substance, there's streets of gold. You know, when the, um, uh, uh, the 70 went up with Moses into the mountain, uh, it says there was a table, there was chairs, and they ate with God. So it's like there's substance there. And so God wants to meet with you. He wants you to come into his river. He wants you to be functional in his court. And uh, so there's an open access uh, for you to be part of this amazing new move that no one can stop. You're going to see this is the one of the, the biggest moves that's ever going to be in the Christian walk is this move of people uh, learning to function in the access to go to even. So I want to invite you, uh, please hit the like and the subscribe uh, button. Uh, it's it's wonderful for, uh, wonderful for me to have you as part of the Unity with Heaven uh, um, family. Uh, every Monday evening and every Friday evening we do a live session where we prophesy to people. So if you'd like to receive personal prophecy, you can come uh, on. We are in South Africa. So South African time on Monday is just after 7. South African time on uh, Friday evenings just before 8. That's when we start to minister. And so usually the first 20 people that put their names on the list, um, you know, you just write your name in the comments and then we will schedule you and we would love to prophesy to you. We don't charge anything. Uh, this is just a service of love uh, to people because I know one-on-one -on -one ministry is one of the most important things that people read now, uh, need right now. And that's what the Lord said to me and that's why we do it. So uh, I love you. I appreciate you. Have a wonderful day. God bless you.